Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and last week Skype put out a new version for Skype for iPhone. It was version 5, and that made a whole new redesign to the actual application itself, and brought a whole bunch of new errors and missing features. So, in the comments of that video, lots of people were saying they couldn't delete conversations, they couldn't view people's profiles. Well, this update fixes a few of those issues. Uh, now you're able to delete conversations, you're able to edit messages, you're able to add favorites to the favorite hub screen. There's some voiceover improvements as well as some general improvements to the uh, Skype experience itself. So here we go, we're going to open up Skype for iPhone version 5.1. And as you can see, we're now in Skype, there's still the same design as version 5, nothing has changed there. But now you're able to delete actual conversations. So I have a conversation here with my good friend Troy, we're going to actually delete this conversation by just holding on to the little chat itself, and we can hit delete. So we're gonna do that one more time. You select the chat, hold it, and you can hit delete. So you can delete your conversation, that simple. So we're gonna hit delete, and there you go. It is completely gone. Quite exciting. It's very, very simple to do now. You can delete conversations. No longer will you have a crap ton of conversations and notifications. You're able to just hold on to the chat itself and then hit delete. So that is how you delete chats in Skype version 5.1. And if you enjoyed this video or was helpful or interesting, please leave a like down below as well as also comment what you think Skype should fix or what they should add to the new version of Skype. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.